Lads, what is going on today? As you can see, you know who we're repping today, boys. Today we're starting episode 1 of career mode for Chelsea, but in Ultimate Team. We're basically going to build the best Chelsea team there is, past and present. I was changing my settings in EAFC. It is Friday the 20th of September when we're doing episode 1. So let's have a look at all the progress that you and I made, lads. First of all, don't use spell tools. As you can see by that notice, do not use spell tools. So we have a few objectives to do. First of all, I already started an evolution by the grace of someone. <laughs> I don't want to say my lord, but by the grace of someone, I actually managed to obtain Nicholas Jackson. Nicholas Jackson. I started his evolution as well. As you can see, we started Nico evolution. I want to put him in this SBC, but I can't. Not SBC evolution, but I can't. It's glitched out for some reason. Let me finish up the entire evolution and then we'll put him in to that one. But for now, we need to rename our squad and continue building on what we have now already. So as you can see, I tried finding more, more Chelsea stuff in the, in the club. There is no more Chelsea stuff in the club. So yeah, that was that. We need to rename our squad, our whole entire team. In fact, I would like to apologize for my behavior <laughs> so as you can see we put in there mandem fc lovely stuff and abbreviation is obviously cfc because we want people to know that yes this is chelsea and we are going along with the whole mandem fc thing that's one thing i like as a chelsea supporter myself i do really support chelsea and that's what i like what we've been doing is actually playing squad battles why are we playing squad battles is because there is no champs there's no champs lads for the first week because remember the game is not out yet to the public it only eat what am i saying it's only out to people who pre-ordered the game so it's out now and i've been completing objectives i've been finishing up where i can completing stuff where i can as well David Alaba looks amazing in that brand new Barcelona kit. Barcelona away kit looks fire. Yes, that is one of our kits, lads. And then we also have the Chelsea burning orange and blue. As you can see, the background in here is that burning orange and blue background for Chelsea, boys. Yo, we got some amazing player picks not amazing it is only the start we got prime 2008 anthony lads yes i'm not joking we also got um because of chemistry we needed to go for ollie watkins i mean 89 rated striker someone we almost signed victor ossiman we had to go for ollie watkins and then boys we got serious Crazy stuff to start us off with. Cole Palmer, even though he's on loan, boys, that's a big W for what we're trying to do. We want to build the ultimate Chelsea team, the ultimate Mandem FC team, and Cole Palmer is amazing. We also got Lawrence here, who's going to play right back for us, even though she as well is also on loan. Now we do have a few rules here boys of course we're gonna go for chelsea this is the start of the game so i'm trying to get the most i can with chelsea players but lads one thing i need to tell you oh part of the rules boys is me being able to use two special players that's not part of chelsea or has been a part of chelsea of course the ultimate goal is to get great chelsea players and to get evolutions on those Chelsea players 
but it would also make sense to go for other players because there might be an elite SPC out something crazy that's on the market that we need so I'm limiting myself to only two outside players outside of this challenge but for most of the challenge we need to get a full full Chelsea squad here I packed at least Rafael Varane we packed him even though he's a 82 rated card we will work with it we will work with it boys you know what I'm saying and then I just continued opening packs nothing crazy come came out <laughs> come out of these packs came out of these packs lads unfortunately we we got these two players not crazy not amazing the SBCs are out also but it's mostly foundations it's team of the week cosmetic evos it's not team of the weeks it's cosmetic evos and yeah i this was the second part of the video this is when i played a few squad battles later like i'm saying we're trying to climb up on squad battles as you can see i'm level three right now zooming in we are on level three boys so we're gonna continue to climb up on squad battles try to get the best we can so that we can get amazing rewards this is what i'm currently gonna get i wanna get elite 3 at least i mean uh, 85 plus player pack 75 plus and then 10k coins on top of that so early in the game that would be crazy but it would be amazing if i got elite 2 in squad battles but that's my plan to play squad battles and get the squad battles rewards because that's the only mode we can play right now lads in order to get rewards and this is what the team looks after the substitutions the team looks okay you know we got nicholas jackson we got in cole palmer and we got lawrence in our chelsea players now how did these teams how did my team perform how did our chelsea team perform on the pitch as you can see burning orange and blue kit and this is what the boys were actually able to do so a new thing about EAFC is showing the evolution on top of the player now. We came in with Cole Palmer and immediately we punished boys. Ice cold. Ice cold. It's ice cold out here. Cole Palmer immediately got his assist. That's what I love seeing the Chelsea boys celebrating together. Hopefully it will be the full Chelsea team. Another thing. We can get woman, Chelsea woman in and that would count towards the challenge. We ran around, the team felt okay, I mean it wasn't too bad for a starter team. Then again, I was playing like what, squad battles on semi-pro or something like that. And Nicholas Jackson, in Nicholas Jackson style, did that. Of course, typical Nicholas Jackson boys. But then it wasn't too long before we got the ball back to him again. And he had another opportunity. And the same thing happened or no, it didn't. Nicholas Jackson from almost outside the box and again the celebrations we love seeing lads is the Chelsea boys just you know celebrating like that and keeping the team spirit going boys Nicholas Jackson for a second one lads that was crazy we scored a few we celebrated Nicholas Jackson scored Cole Palmer has been scoring it's been a good game the link up play between the two lads are crazy look at that back pass from jackson to palmer and it's ice cold outside and this is what we were able to do with the whole chelsea squad chelsea and well not the full chelsea squad but chelsea Cole palmer man of the match four goals in that game we ended off on six goals for that game looking at the performances and the match facts I know we were playing AI, but look at that. Zero shots on target compared to 18 shots on target. It goes crazy. And we continue to rank up in squad battles. Now on 854 points, we go on to goal 2. Hopefully by Sunday, we can make it to Elite 3. So we can get the crazy awards. But then this is when we went back to the lobby. We went back to the lobby and we had a look. And... I didn't even know this but EA updated something nice we finished the Nicholas Jackson evolution but EA added content on drop day early access drop day EA added 
content what content how does that benefit us for chelsea like we doing a chelsea rtg what does that have to do with us boys i say no more i say no more robert sanchez 83 drops and we already got one segment done from him we need we have one two three more objectives to do and it will fit perfectly in with the challenge that we are doing robert sanchez is going to be completed yes there is a few challenges still to do and by the time we start ep episode two lads we should be done with robert sanchez already or maybe we continue episode two by doing robert sanchez Having a look at all of these objectives is crazy, boys. It's crazy to think that EA dropped content on release day. We are still doing the league if the ladies so that we can get better players in our squad. I know they're not Chelsea players, but for now it will benefit us so that we can get Chelsea players. We opened up some packs. I thought, here we go, something crazy. Some CDM from Girona. And it was like, nah lads, that's not what we want. We need Chelsea players. So what I'm thinking next is another Chelsea striker. Someone who plays up front. I'm thinking someone to support Nicholas Jackson, which would be Christopher Nkunku. Or someone in the midfield, Enzo or Caicedo. Preferably, I'd like to get Renato Sanchez in there. No, not Renato Sanchez. Renato Vega. Renato Vega is crazy. We have actually packed Joshua Kimmich from that pack. 86 right back. I don't think I'm going to replace Lawrence. I'll see where else can Joshua Kimmich play. Maybe CDM or CM. We'll have a look at that, lads. But so far, everything looks great. Everything looks amazing with this team. We are going crazy. We started episode 1 off with a banger. We got three Chelsea players, including Cole Palmer. We did an evolution for Nicholas Jackson. And the boys are just looking good on the pitch. Hopefully, by Sunday, when we open our packs, boys, we have something crazy waiting for us. Even our coins are becoming good now. Before, maybe we can make a few sales and a few trades before the full game come out. comes out. And I'll see you, boys, in episode 2. Let's get it. Let's go.